Good evening, Elizabeth. This is Susie Bussman, and I'm making this short video to uh, help you correct your traditional assessment. It has some formatting uh, issues, and so hopefully it will load here pretty quickly. And I started out in the preview function, and I could tell right away this was not how it's supposed to look. Your ABCD is supposed to be down here. And right now, I can't help but get the right answer um, for your multiple choice questions. Same thing for number two uh, and number three. So <clears throat> you've got some um, functionality issues uh, with this quiz. Same thing with your matching. Uh, just doesn't work correctly. True and false is fine. And... Your short answer works. Now, I do recommend um, that you define the minimum and the maximum amount of text you want in response to describe the relationship between society and social change, um, <clears throat> because that will help students and it will uh, probably make you a happier instructor. So I can submit the quiz, and it's going to tell me I have one unanswered question. So how do you um, take care of the issues with your quiz? You have to go into your edit function. You do need, uh, under quiz instructions, you need information here. Add the quiz introduction here. Remember you're talking to your students. And um, as with everything, you save it. So it's saving a little slow tonight. We're going to go back into the edit function. And we're going to go to the actual questions. I'm going to demonstrate on the first one uh, that you have a pencil there to open up the editing function. This information is what you want down here. I know this one is the right answer. Um, to indicate this is the right answer, that's what you, um, I'm going to say update question without regarding, so you're going to update. So now this one is the right answer. And that's how you pick the right answer, but you actually put the answer text where it says answer text, not up above, because they do not have radio buttons. We're going to take all this extra stuff out because we don't need that. And the other thing is for you to program the comments to the feedback. Whatever you want students to know if they chose this as the incorrect answer, because this is a teaching learning moment. And then also for the correct answer, and whatever you want to share about Karl Marx. And then a done update question. And um, well, oh, let's do the save and see what happens. Hopefully I didn't totally mess up your thing. I'll go back and put it back. All right, so then if I go to preview now, I can see that which theorist contributed greatly toward development of the conflict of the conflict theory. I can actually pick Karl Marx, and I'm just going to go ahead and submit the kit, quiz. It's going to tell me, "Oh, you missed all these questions." But when I submit the quiz, I can see, "Yes, I got the answer right. Great job, Karl Marx." So there is how the questions, multiple choice questions, 
are really supposed to function, not where you have programmed the answer but not allowed students to really look at the distractors. Um, your question, we're going to go back into the edit function. Uh, the other type of question which has issues in formatting uh, um, your matching. So you're, you don't put the information up here. What you put up here, it, the directions for your students. Match the terms on the left in the left column to their definitions in the right column is what you put up there. Here is where you put the term, or I think you want it to go this way. Um, so I'm copying and pasting this stuff up here. over here. Now you only have three things to match. I recommend that if you have more you put it in there. So you're going to take out this. Um, we'll take this information out and we'll take this option off of here. And we're going to update question, and then we're going to save. So update and save. Then when we go into the preview function, sorry everything's a little slow. At least when I get here, oh dear, well I thought I had. Um, we still have kind of a mess, but at least you can see the terms over here. And... There's nothing to choose here yet because you have to take this information and add it. You put the correct definition opposite the correct term and then the system will mix it up for you. That's why it's good to have more than three, if at all possible. But you're going to need to reprogram uh, one through four, add your min and max word uh, or sentence allotment for seven. You need three more questions and you also need the quiz introduction where the quiz instructions needed to be at the top. Alright, so you have some work to do there. Thanks, bye.